Libra, how you doing? Welcome to your weekly Astro Flower reading here. Going from the 15th to the 21st of April. Uh, the sun's kicked back in, if you haven't noticed. The energy's picked up all around us. This is provoking that spiritual awakening that we saw on the collective reading. Uh, if you want to know about what's hitting us in the way of energies and how it's affecting your auras and chakras, um, you can see that on Cymatic TV, our sister channel, All About Energy, linked in the description below or uh, around my head at the end of this reading. Um, but yes, it seems to be affecting a lot of cards uh, in all signs. Judgment has come out literally every single reading. Judgment cards come out. Uh, on every single reading. The devils come out on pretty much every single reading. Um, the five of wands as well has come out. And it's it's this moment of doing, I think, more than anything else. And the revelation and realisation of certain people or situations that are holding us back, that seems to be a major thing that's coming week. So uh, let's see what's going on for you with the overall energies here. Karmic message on your relationship side, karmic message on your financial side, influence in the universe, influence on past self, future self, and general outcome. Hope you have a lovely reading, uh, Libra. Yes, welcome. See what's going on for you, Hierophant. Mm. This is like a caterpillar to butterfly scenario here, a metamorphosis of your spiritual engagement in life and this is both on your financial side as well on your relationship side here i think also the overall energies and the overall energies the energies that are directly around you you know the influence in the universe is the energies that are a lot more longer term a lot more consistent because the energies around us change in according to where we are and i think the overall energies here is sort of like reiterating the steps that you need to take in order to get towards your happiness or your goals or your ambitions whatever you is really focusing on at the moment just follow the steps around you knowing those steps you will get to what you need to be uh judgment what was i saying it's coming out on everybody and it is on your karmic <laughs> on your relationship side <clears throat> excuse me i will say for air signs right the judgment card has come out on the influence in the universe on aquarius and on gemini but for you it's come out on your karmic path it's straight in front of you here it's on your path you cannot avoid this libra there is obviously a relationship or a direction that you should be taking emotionally um relationships wise wise even spiritually it's like a spiritual calling as well and this is what i said is all tied into the uh you know the the spiritual awakening that's happening in the collective this is on your karmic path it's as it's 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 as big as a bus you can't avoid it and it is unavoidable for you uh libra i would respond to your calling here and the universe, uh, the overall energies here are helping you to know those steps that you need to take in order to get there. Oh, yeah. The universe is influencing you with the King of Cups, which is really good. I'm getting a really good vibe out of this. Um, once you start following it, and once you realize it, and you, you, you know, you finally put pay to any doubts within your, your heart's desires. The universe here is sort of saying, if you follow this calling, you will find yourself in a place where you are sitting on a boat, sipping on a, a nice glass of wine or, or juice or whatever floats your boat, uh -huh. um, and just enjoying the whole sort of sunshine and everything like that, or, or sitting in a, in a beautiful place with a beautiful landscape in front of you. And just really enjoying the moment and no stress in your life whatsoever because you're following your heart's desires because you're following what you should be doing or where you should be going or what relationship you should be in and emotions that you should be in and i think you've done the work here uh libra in order to get there to get to this judgment call this ascension that you're going through in this spiritual awakening that you have multitudes of um 
emotions and situations, relationships around you that are beneficial at different times. So you may have a like a friend that you walk with and you confide in, which is really good. And then you may have another friend which you like to play sport with and stuff like that. You've, you've got this scenario here, and I think this is where you've been working on it, where you, you, you're actually at very much at ease with all the relationships that you have around you. I'm stopping because I need to pick up these cards. All right? Look at that. Look at that. You follow your heart's desires, you know, follow your judgment, follow your calling, and it's within you. Following your calling, there is an offering of love. And I've got this card here as well. It's all about marriage as well, this card. And this is what it could be building up to. It could be building up to a situation where, you know, there's a major offering of love, a major opportunity for you to live your heart's desires coming in your future. It, it comes out of the result of, of what's gone on during this week, this realisation, this revelation of the path that you should be going down. Out of that, this is it, walking out towards your curiosity. And where you're walking to, you're walking towards that knowing it within you and that's that curious side knowing it within you is going to make you walk away from emotions that or relationships that are they're not bad at all i don't see any bad sort of stuff but i do see um you know them do you know what i mean and it's not new it's not it's not stimulating enough for you your your life in that sort of respect and you want a bit of uh, excitement and in order to do that you have to follow your heart's desires once you do do that that whole curiosity side of you it's going to be you know it's going to bring you nothing but joy and happiness a, a love that is really bound for you it's great to see what's happening and when we do the clarification on the light series card on your financial side queen of wands a lot of that has been coming out as well, especially for air signs. This is on your karmic path here, on your financial side. I think there's a lot of finances that have been, a lot of things that have been happening for you. Uh, and you seem to be provoking a lot of angles in life. And let's just say you're, like, you're in a job and you've got, um, you're looking at career moves. And there's possibilities of taking one direction or two direction or three direction. There's several directions that you can take. But in order to do that, you need to get passionate about each aspect of it all and be totally there when you're doing it um, in order for, to get the, um, get the results out of it, get the clarity out of it so you can, it, it, the decision becomes a no-brainer. That's what, that's what I think you need to do here. Really start pushing certain things so you've got confidence to actually go off in a direction that suits you. But as I say, I think you've got multitudes of directions and maybe it's a case here that knowing with that overall energy, knowing the steps you need to take in order to get to your ambitions that you wish to achieve, you may need to streamline your ambitions. Let's just see what's going on. What's the influence in the universe? Yeah, a whole new cycle coming up for you. This is going to be, this could be like a project that's got so many different angles that you're, you know, it makes you passionate about every single angle of that new project. And um, it brings in results from multitudes of different areas uh, in your life, but it allows you to do different things. And this gives you that, um, it gives you that sort of diverse, diversity within your workspace, which keeps you satisfied and keeps everything very fresh. The difference of the outcome of the relationship side here, it's like the recognition, recognition of the relationship side that, you know, you want a bit of panache in life. And this is what you've already worked that out on your, relate, on your financial side. And the universe here is bringing you everything, all the elements that you need in order to explore all of those passions that are connected to this career path, business, project, whatever interests you in the material world. Um, nine of Swords, sorry. 
this is your past. I think that is your past. Looking at these two cards here and your overall energies as well, looking at these two cards there, you know, uh, I don't think it's, just don't bring the stress from the past into your future. That's probably what the, the overall message is from your past self here. Don't bring the stress from the past into your future. Allow you to really, allow you to experience and taste the pure success of your ambitions. You know, a magician, you are a major manifestator. That's what you are. And this is where this new, this new cycle that the universe is bringing into you with all the elements that you need, because that's what the, you know, the, um, the world card is a Capricorn card, because Capricorn has pretty much level um, elements in all of its, in its sign, in its astro flower. So it's got, pretty similar volumes of elements across the board. It's the only sign that has that. Um, and that can make Capricorn a pretty boring sign. I know, I'm a Capricorn, right? Um, but that has all the elements. This new thing that's coming up, this new dimension that you're going to has all the elements. But also at the same time, so does the magician. He has a cup on that table, he has a sword, he has a wand, and he has a pentacle. This is where you've, you've got a project in front of you that ticks all the boxes. The time of worrying about your future is over. The time of enactment is here and now. This is what that spiritual awakening is about. This is about why the sun is picking up the energy as it is at the moment, which we've seen on Cymatic TV. It's going to make things a lot more vibrant as we go forward. Oh. Uh, Air Signs has been getting nothing but that. You know, nothing but intelligence in the way to do this. You know the steps you need to take, right? And that is where you're playing smart to start manifesting that whole new cycle that you need to be doing. That is basically what's going on for you in your, on your um, financial side of life. That manifestation is in your future is not necessarily today. It's in the following weeks after that. Today is the understanding and the recognizing, this week here is recognizing and pushing your passions into multitudes of different ways. So you can actually, which is going to make you um, smarter. It's going to make you realize what you want and what you don't want. What to put your energies into and what not to put your energies into. And that's going to make life a, a damn sight easier for you and a lot better for you. Um, with the Hierophant, yeah, exactly. Okay, so you know the steps you need to take. So don't sell yourself short here. And I think the universe here is only going to, it's not going to, it's going to hold on tightly to that process. It's going to hold on tightly to the idea that it's not going to send things in your direction, which is going to distract you. It's only going to give you the energies if you start following your path and going ahead and doing it. And I don't want to say throwing caution to the wind because you're a pure air sign, but there is a little bit about that aspect of that, you know, feeling, knowing that everything is possible. Now you get the nine of wands, nine of swords again. Once you start following your calling, once you start following your heart and, you know, following, knowing where you should be going, because um, it feels just so right. The moment you start doing that, that's when you put pay to all of that. That's when that sort of flows away. And I think you do need to walk away from a, maybe a way of doing things or a situation or group or anything like that. You know, walking, allowing your curiosity to open your heart to the ultimate direction that you should be taking with another person. With the King of Cups, you get the Four of Cups. Funny that, because you've got the Four of Pentacles on the overall energies. And now on the universal energies and, the, and you know, on the influencing stuff of what the universal energies are bringing through, you get the Four of Cups. This is where you've got to start. I think this is what, what this is to do with the Judgment card again. You're distilling 
these three cuts, which is the eight of cups here, is what you're walking away from. This is what you're walking away from. And you're walking towards that one cup, that there. And I think the universe is reiterating that. And it's almost giving you this promise or the possibility of an absolutely harmonious and beautiful future for you. And I would, I would feel it and know it and walk it. Walk it. Do it. Do it, Libra. Do it, Libra. Um, let's just see um, what's going on with the Nine of Swords. Nine of... I've got the Nine of Swords in my head now. Nine of Swords. No, it's not the Nine of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles with the Seven of um, Wands. This is it. I think, as I said, I think there's a lot of relationships around you that you feel very comfortable with and everything like that. It's all very nice. It makes you feel, it has made you feel in the past very sure about yourself, knowing where you're going. And it's almost as if like kind of going, Oh, I know everything that's going to happen now. It's becoming a bit boring. That's what I think, you know, it's too good. It's too, it's too, it's too straight. There's no, there's no exploration in it. And I think this is what's like, you know, feeding your desires for going forward. Yeah, this is a new love. I'm not a new love or that well, could be a new love. You know, meeting that person it could be someone that you're already with um and it's finally going all in that's what seems to be the situation here putting pay to all of that stress and strain of the past by following your judgment and going all in and i think this is coming out in the next couple of weeks uh basically and i think it makes you feel incredibly good uh incredibly empowered more than anything else and invigorated because you're exploring stuff. You're not, you're not getting bored with doing the same thing, same thing, same thing. You know, you like consistency in certain aspects of your life. But you do like to discover new things and explore. And I think that's what that Eight of Cups is all about. Yes, it's all about going to find you. Following your calling, following your judgment is really important here. That's going to be the thing that's going to be... Um, the driving force behind your relationships. It's going to bring you into that place of harmony and beautiful energies, which the universe is trying to influence you with. It's going to make you be you. And finally, you can be you within the world that is around you. That's what the important thing is, is here. Um, let's see what's going on on your financial side. Queen of Wands. Get the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I think you do need to sort of push all the boundaries on all the, you know, there seems to be a project here that's not, yeah, it's concentrating on one thing at a time. But at the same time, there's so many things going on around you that it will allow you to, you know, um, discover new things constantly uh, about this project that, that obviously you're trying to manifest. Uh, and it's a whole brand new project for you. Uh, really good brand new project for you. To see what's going on with the work card, with the world card, you get the eight of pentacles. Yeah, this new cycle is a whole new work thing, and it, it brings in look at this, look at this eight of pentacles. Yeah, um, you know, with this eight of pentacles, there's there's loads of things going on. That's exactly what I was saying about here on the on the queen of uh, queen of um, wands. You're now starting this new paradigm is now starting to, it creates a lot of diversity within your workspace, which keeps you internally satisfied and it's, everything's always new and, and turning up. And it's a really bright and beautiful project that you seem to be getting involved in. Yeah, this is all in the past, right? This is all in the past. And you're really saying goodbye to the old you. It's really, really nice. You know, this three of swords here, it's on the financial side, not on the relationship side. So it may have been stress and strains in regards to money. That's all coming to an end, apparently. Um, you know, if you follow your passions and get involved in a project, uh, you're going to be able to manifest a really good ultimate future for you. Yeah, and that manifestation will need you to be engaged with your passions, as I said, with the Queen of Wands, 
but securing your future will also depend on you um, socializing, networking, connecting, you know, uh, connecting, and this could be connecting on social media, this could be connecting on um, through sales or um, through suppliers, but whatever it is, it's being passionate and really driving that manifestation of your ambitions ultimately for you. And if you play smart, and this is what playing smart's about, of following those passions, uh, if you play smart about it and start manifesting it all, that's when, that's when um, you know, you say goodbye to all of those financial woes and worries. You're coming in from the cold, basically, uh, Libra. You're coming in, coming, coming in from the cold. Yeah, it's a, it's a Bob Marley song, Coming In From The Cold. Great song. Um, yes, that's what seems to be happening here. You have, a, you have the key to your success. And I think it's made you hungry enough for it. But it's, it's made you hungry in the sense that you don't just want it to be humdrum life. You want it to be stimulating. And it definitely is. The more you stimulate it, and the more you choose the way in which you plant your seeds or manifest your future will avoid any sort of stress and strains financial stress and strains in your future and it will bring you in from the cold i almost feel like like you know people have written you off in a way libra they sort of kind of go well you know libra they're not really doing anything and then all of a sudden bing you turn up with major success that's the sort of scenario I think that you're building here. And I think that's what's coming in in the future where you can really start manifesting what you exactly need. There you go, Libra. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you get the best out of these readings. Um, don't forget about our sister channel, Somatic TV, that deals with all the things energy, uh, aura, the chakras, uh, vibrations from the sun, the earth, everything like that. You'll find that link to the bottom of the screen or around my head at some point. Um, yes, I'll either see you over there or I'll see you here, whichever way I'll see you. It'd be lovely to see you again. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.